Okay, so I'm continuing work on replacing some of the core animations that I started with. One thing I'm not entirely happy with is the combo attack on the sword animations. So even the running is kind of a bit off in my opinion. The way he handles the sword and runs with it. It looks good, but I think we could maybe do better. And then the attack animation. What I've got there is a slash left, slash right, and a twirl uh, overhead combo. So, I mean, it does the job, and it feels right, but I want something a little bit more. So I'm going through my list of assets I've got, and I found this, an oriental sword animation set. So this is what I'm going to download and import. So now that I've got that downloaded and imported, let's check it out. There we go. Cool. So let's check it out. Let's just dive right in into our animation controller and get it to look good. So I'm going to open up my scenes and let's go into the playground. There's our AR, there's our sword. So very good. And then animator on our player object. And we want the sword layer. So this is this is what I'm looking at. Where well, I'm going to change the attack, blend tree, walk, anim. Okay, so the in attack blend tree uses variables to determine which slash to play. If I click play, and I'll just show you what it looks like now. So, based on the combo attack index, it knows which slash to play. So these three slashes are what I can just swap out with the new animations. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the animator on the bottom, and I'm going to have my project over here. So I'll go ahead and turn myself off. I'm going to just dive right in. and find the attack animations I want. Woo. Okay, so that's right. So let's, let's try that one first. Let's just see what that looks like. Okay, so only the first animation now will be replaced. the combo. Okay, here's attempt two. We tax fast that way. Uh, maybe I, I can slow that down a little bit. Okay. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, man, I like that a lot. Okay, let's see what attack two looks like. Okay, that's slash left. Okay, very good. I'm also going to slow that one down to just normal speed. And while we're here, let's find a good finisher. Jab and set Overhead, hmm. yeah, that one looks good. Okay, so let's see what it looks like. Got this ward. Now all together, slash, slash. <laughs> That's cool. The last one, I might just need to slow down just a hair. Eighty percent speed. Oh. 
Okay, so we are back day two of working on the new animations. <laughs> Cohen's playing Fortnite. And what I'm going to do is oh. add the sound effects for the sword swooshes. Um, I'm going to follow the same pattern I did on the footstep video where I demonstrated how to replace the sound effects when you have custom animations. That first dive into it, we'll go into our blend tree and find the animations that we use. The walk run blend, I want the first attack 01, duplicated it, it's in the bottom right hand corner. And I'm going to click and drag that one into place, then attack two, same thing, duplicate it, click and drag that into that. And then attack seven, duplicate that. And I'm in the way, apologize. Move that in there. So the reason we do that is so that we can then modify the animation clips in the animation window. So if I have my player armature selected and then I select the animation that I want to play, we can see him uh, doing the animations here. So at which point I need to determine should the sword sound start playing. Right there. I'm going to make a Unity event and I'm going to say it is shooter controller and enable weapon sound. When I come back. So that's, Wait, that's all I've got to do there. And then um, let's try attack two. So he's coming from the left this time. I'm going to say right there. Add event. Shooter controller. Enable <clears throat> weapon sound. And then this one will be real fun. The slash slash, the combo. Right there. Shooter controller. Enable weapon sound. And then when he comes back around, <laughs> I'll do the same thing. <laughs> Shooter controller. I enable weapon it. sound. There we go. Now, as long as those all saved, which they look like they did, let's try it out. So we should now hear the sword swoosh sounds. Hmm. It's it's working except for on the third one. And tell me what you guys think about this animation. I I'm not not a fan. Not a fan. I might change it back. I see. I might need to create a new custom sound effect for that third swoosh. But yeah, it's it's coming together. Um, in in less than two days' work, we've got new custom animations, and uh, I'll get into the sound editing for that third swoosh swoosh as he does the combo so thank you thank you all for joining devlog 6 for spookville and i will see you in the next one